How right. could this happen? Greetings and welcome back, gentles and ladies, men, to the long-awaited finale of the multi-platform, multi-commentator setup Sonic Heroes Let's Play. Uh, I'm X Paradigm Gamer, and I brought one per we were able to get one person from every of the five previous playthroughs to join us for the last story. Introduce yourselves, kind sirs. Well, I'm Eric. Uh, I play a lot of video games. <laughs> not, not to brag or anything, but uh, I'm ready to game. <laughs> I'm Ryan, and uh, I don't want to brag or anything, but I'm what you call a, uh, a real gamer girl. And I'm Nick. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm Alonzo. I'm, I guess, the regular non. I used to be a gamer, but then life hit me, and I took an arrow to the knee. Was that funny? So funny. <laughs> Was that funny? <laughs> wow. Okay. I'm back in 2011. Uh, Holy shit. Yeah. Seven years ago. It's a little too newfangled for me. I'm Jeb. I made it before my fellow uh, jerks. Actually, no, wait, they're the jerks, not me. So, ha, I'm the jerk now. You know, so one person from each of the five previous playthroughs, we're gonna go ahead and start um, the last story. And, uh, yeah. So we tried to get as, as many people as we could, but unfortunately, you know, we, we all live in like two separate countries. And like between the US and RZ living in the Netherlands and Alec had work uh, King K had to go visit relatives in another state I hey, thought Alec, Alec was such a space alien <laughs> Oh yeah, Alec is also a space alien and uh, yeah, by the way, Metal Sonic's in the game <laughs> yeah. and then at the end at the end he shows up because apparently he has the ability to copy people's data So he's ditto I like this guy. Or wouldn't that be Terminator? You know, with the little blob, metal blob thingy. Uh, the T-1000? Yeah. No, I, t yeah. I thought they were... That was a later model. I don't know, I haven't seen Terminator in a long time. <laughs> yeah, I have not seen the trailer for Terminator 6 yet, which came out oh, yesterday, yeah. I think. <laughs> this is our Sonic Heroes playthrough. <laughs> <laughs> it says, says what the trailer person on Zebros. Yeah, no, I'm trying to something, pay attention. This, this is some something intense story. Something I about this cutscene is we see the same thing happening like four or five times like with the torso phone, and we just see it from different angles to make this transformation sequence look a lot more complex than it really is. But no, th this guy does not have that many limbs, that many uh, the, the spikes, <laughs> that is, many This is going torsos. on for like a comically long time. Oh. It's like a, it's like a, a schoolgirl magical girl transformation. It is. Metal Sonic is literally Sailor Moon. I mean, it goes like, uh... It goes like... There, there is literally a character in Dragon Ball Super, voiced by Veronica Taylor, of all people, who... Like, has a magical girl transformation, but it's like reversed, where she goes from being like a pretty girl into like a blob. Oh yeah, <laughs> the tournament power. Uh, what are they called again? And... and and Seventeen interrupts it, and everyone's like, no, man, that's not cool, you're supposed to let them finish, it's like part of the code. <laughs> yeah, even Vegeta was like, oh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> oh, So essentially second. what oh, happened he's is, gonna say it. Metal Sonic set Sonic up this whole thing. Sonic is gonna say the line in a few seconds. Like, he, he, he kidnapped Chocola Chow, and he sent, he was disguised as Eggman all along. So every time we met Eggman, it decides at the end of Team Chaotix, that was actually Metal Sonic in disguise. And he was basically tricking all these people into battling him so he could copy their data and transform into whatever that is. What a loser. Oh, that reminds me. Um, I have an important question that Michael was not a whole lot of help with that I need crowdsource. Um, so this is just hypothetical. This is just oh, no. entirely... <laughs> no, 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 no. This is, so yes. this is, related, this is related to Sonic. Um, uh -huh. just hypothetically, if I was walking around in the woods, you know, playing in my Star Wars fan film, and I found it, <laughs> I found a goblin, hypothetically, this didn't actually happen, but I hypothetically brought it home and it's in my bathroom right now, hypothetically, what, what should I feed this goblin because it's starting to get a little antsy. 
You should feed it from your Noblin. Why is this Sonic related? Because goblins. Because his yeah, name, yeah, may, his name might be Sonic, you know? Oh. Uh, <laughs> you don't ask those questions. By the way, by the way, just to clarify, I don't want anybody getting the wrong idea. This, there isn't actually a goblin in my bathroom right now. Oh, okay. I mean, listen, saying, listen, man. If there was a goblin in your bathroom right now, we would think no less of you for it. It's perfectly okay. We be open with us. So, we're here just to you. commentate on the game real quick. Uh, of course, <laughs> two doors. Yeah, the first phase is the easiest because you get like extra team blasts and invincibility up the wazoo, and so yeah, you'll blow through this easily. It's really more of a formality. Although, if you've made it this far, they don't really need to make any part of this fight easy, I suppose. Anyway, this is kind of neat. It's like the the uh, final fortress is much smaller than it appears in game normally. It's only like a twentieth of the size of the stage itself. Uh, but here we kind of see like the central pillar of it has been blown the freck apart and turned into this new body for some reason. Yep, he looks like a Final Fantasy super boss. I love it. He is. I do like how it's plugged into the ship itself. Mm -hmm. You see that tower of tubes and cables just running down to it. Like he's still growing. He's still siphoning power from the ship. I'm surprised it doesn't just fall out of the sky right now. So if anything, if if they gotta beat him, why don't they just pull the plug? <laughs> just yeah, pull the plug, you idiots. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Why don't they pull the plug? Tried, have you tried turning it off and turning it back on again? <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't even have the emeralds that characters do. Do you have Egg Windows Man. 10 activated? Egg or did you have a kind of cool Windows this death fight? machine from... Uh, why don't they just use Norton? <laughs> <laughs> One thing that's kind of cool about this fight is um, depending on what angle you're facing him from, he'll only use certain attacks. Like, he won't use his right arm when you're fighting him as Team Chaotix, and he won't use his tail if you're fighting him from the front, but he'll use both of his arms. So, the fight does change a little bit as you go through it. Uh, curiously, when he's changed, when that little core thing is changed to a certain color, you cannot attack him as that character. It has to be somebody else. Mm -hmm. I've never noticed that he changes up his arms and legs and not legs. He has none. <laughs> he has he legs. Look at the little dangly boys. Plant. He's got. Mm -hmm. He's got little tubes. That was clutch. What do you oh, think God. of Metal Sonic's like normal design before he changes into this? I wish we could have fought with a super Neo long Metal Sonic. Straight yeah. spikes and the the kilt and everything. The kilt. <laughs> <laughs> It reminds I mean, this me of home. <laughs> I mean, like, we have to put a MIDI of whatever song playing right now. I think now, he looks more like pipes. <laughs> I think he looks box. more like some kind of metal shadow with the white you stripes won't. on his quills and everything. This was the point where the characters started to get a little over designed. You know, like they were they were just trying a little too hard. I like this game. I like how they brought Metal Sonic back because, like. You know, in the previous 3D games, he was just in a tube or in multiplayer or something. But like now, they like, I like how they brought back an old character and gave him like a time in the spotlight, and they like talk about how yeah. he like has, he like kind of wants to be the real Sonic. You know, I, I like that. So he's like Sonic Man from Sonic 06. Yeah, he's like Sonic Man from Sonic 06. Nice. <laughs> exactly like Can him. One, exactly. It is like really him. easy to lose here, especially if you lose your flag character. Normally, if you want to be extra safe, you just go flight and just not move and just stay above him until he's done firing these missiles. But every time one of your teammates is caught in one of those bubbles, like, you have to bust them out. And if all three of you are caught, that counts as a lost life. So All oops. I have is dummy ring bombs. Let me ring. <laughs> I forgot those were in this game. Well, shoot. Oh, you did it. As At least they're not first-person dummy ring bombs. <laughs> now you can second. homing attack him, but that is extremely risky. Yeah, I'm, I'm not gonna try do that. It. Yeah, do it! Do it! Entertaining. Do it for the last one! Do it for the last, one. One. It for the last hit. hit! You have do to! Do it! Do come it! On. You have to do it for- <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you! Womp womp womp! Yeah, so that was the first phase. Coward. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do it with Sonic. You have to deliver the last blow with uh, Sandwich the Hedgehog. Well, that's not going to be a problem. For no, reasons but you'll see. you know, that's a funny oh, name. Well, whatever. Fine. Okay, you'll so fight him on the platform. I take it. Uh, God, he looks like a ghoul. Your data has been copied. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm sorry, did I and miss something? And his feet have evolved to become wings. How does he fly with those, though? So, let me ask you something. I mean, what do you think Metal Sonic's feet smell like? Metal. Steel. Motor oil. Rust. Anyways. Wow, I, I actually got an answer for that. Wow, I'm, I'm shook. <laughs> so, for some reason, only Sonic yeah, but, gets to go super. The other two just get this a This is kind bubble. of funny, because this was one of their weaker attempts to have a multi-layered story where you have all these characters going on their own adventures except they're going to all the same sta same stages and fighting all the same things so there really wasn't much you could do with that Plus and they yes all people were disappointed stage. that tails and knuckles didn't become super as well that always bugged me okay so the only <laughs> way that you can damage metal sonic in this form is to build up your team blast meter by counterattacking all of Metal Sonic's abilities. And I think if you do it like five or six times, that's all it will take. You can also go for the five ring times. boxes that'll fill up your meter as well. Are you homing and... attacking the crystals? Yeah, that's how you get them. Oh, no, wow. I thought you were supposed to rocket excel through them. That's how I've always done. Well, okay, then learning stuff. Damn. Oh, I thought oh, you had a I perfect power button. Team blast. Sorry. I, I don't have audio to listen to from the game right now because it was either that or the Discord call and I chose the Discord call, but yeah. Uh, well, since we don't have audio, the song in this uh, boss fight is amazing. Yes. Yes. One of the greats, right up there with Open Your Heart and, yes. and uh, Live and Learn. This one, uh, What I'm Made Of. This is like one of the reasons some people consider this to be a Sonic Adventure 3, basically, because it does have the same general spirit as those games. Similar music, similar everything. And even back then, people were thinking of this kind of like a third adventure game. Then Sonic 06 came out, and that became the third adventure game. Then Unleashed came along, and people thought that that is kind of a third adventure game, Sonic like a World spiritual adventure. successor. I think there was even like some... We've had like five Sonic Adventure true. 3s already. I think there's like Ryan. design documents to say that like Sonic Shadow Genesis the Hedgehog was, was going to be called Adventure, adventure game. 3 at 1.2. Yeah. Ooh, oh god. that is crazy. Oh, yeah. Shadow of the Hedgehog. I can't wait for that playthrough, Mikey. Uh. That's I, I, that's exactly <laughs> what I've been saying. You know what I think? I think we yes. should we should get yes. everybody back to do the entire Shadow of the Hedgehog playthrough. Guys, you're, yes. no. All of them. You can guys you imagine, realize that that game is like boring yeah. as hell, right? <laughs> This is as That's cool as it's all day. Day. He grabs an entire ship from the Egg Fleet and just chucks it at you. And as Douglas, you just fire. F oh, well, yeah, you know, uh, Mike. If you if you keep rapidly pressing B instead of doing a full combo, Knuckles will just start pistol shrimp punching fireballs out like projectiles. Really? That's mm -hmm. awesome. Yeah, you can do it continuously. Try it again if, if he if he yeah, throws I, another I ship at you. Just keep hammering B. Yeah, I think this game has some pretty bad boss fights, but this one's kind of cool. Hammer me. Hey, swap formations. Yeah. It looks oh, pretty also, pretty Mike, um, you can use Rocket it's Excel to plow through those. Well, I, I never use Rocket Excel ever because it's a gimp spin dash. At but least you're not. And that's why you'll never Rocket Excel at through least life. You're not Rocket Excel and <laughs> off of cliffs True, and then wondering what the. You can't see it, but I'm dabbing. Hit the missiles, hit the missiles, fam. What the hell? That's what bad the hell? Design. This is very oh. inconsiderate of the developers to put bad mechanics in video Time games. Time to take a piss. <laughs> 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 what the hell are you doing? I'm I taking a piss. <laughs> Admittedly, this fight is a little wonky because you still got like the three members of the team, but now they all work a little differently. They have like basically new mechanics, um, but it's not a not too difficult of a boss fight. If anything, this is kind of like a victory lap. It's just really cathartic to make it this far in the game and just wail on the guy. Oh yeah, and these are the out. same <laughs> missiles that can catch your teammates, and now Get we've got like an entire barrage of them. It's crazy. Yeah. If you run out of rings, you die. This isn't even my final form. <laughs> I also like okay, that he's uh, that he's voiced by Ryan Drummond. That's just it's just oh, funny. Yes. yes, he is. I didn't know that. Through uh, a ten filter, sir. <laughs> and here he blows you a kiss. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> That's what that animation always looked like to me. They don't miss. I bet they never miss. Ha 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 
<laughs> that was yeah. a sarcastic Thank you, Eric. Laugh. Thank no, that you. was real. Anyways. Sonic really and got him now there. the video freezes on my end. What perfect wow. timing. Yeah, I'm a little B out of practice. B I mean. probably I probably could have right, done it slightly do it faster again. if I had audio. Yep. Okay. Okay. Reset. Reset. <laughs> reset. <laughs> no, 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 no. Here we go. It's catching up. It's always kind of funny to me seeing this pimped out Metal Sonic suddenly morph back to his uh, old form, which has like shorter quills than modern Sonic. And everything. It does kind of look out of date. I'm still cool. I like original Metal Sonic. Both. Marriage? No way. I miss Ryan. We get Drummond. a bunch of neat little moments in this in this cutscene, um, including the very last time we will ever see Rouge and Knuckles show any affection towards each other. They just kind of stopped being a thing after this game. Does Big yeah. the Cat ever show up again after this? Yeah, I mean he's in yes. Team Sonic Racing. But what about Rivals oh. Two and Colors DS? Yes. What about yeah, I mean, Big are... Fishing Adventure Two? What about it's? <laughs> <laughs> and then Eggman's trying to sneak away because he owes the money. <laughs> what about Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine? It comes and we're back in Seaside Hill. Yep. And freeze yeah. frame! Yeah. Yeah. yeah! Because we're Sonic One Heroes! My ass. Yet I can't Don't get know how it there. got up there! See, See, I, I just gotta, gotta turn, turn it around. around. A mighty smash, smash without a sound. And I can hear every quill. Summon your head song. against your will. <laughs> Fucking through the sound barrier like a sonic boom, my ass on you. <laughs> wow. Wow. Beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 think I imagine new Alonzo outfit. being in a place where you, where you aren't the goofy one. I know, it's so weird. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rouge's outfit's cool. I'm kind, of, I'm kind of annoyed, frankly, because I'm sitting here trying to enjoy this song, and you're, 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 you're over there singing annoying, annoying songs, which I hate. <laughs> it really pisses me off. Is there any even anything else to say about this game at this point? Um, like, I like it. Yeah. yeah it's it's Google garbage. There's it's lots fun. of fast stuff in it. <laughs> it is. Sonic's blue in this game. <clears throat> I think this game's biggest contribution to the Sonic series is Omega. Yes. Yeah. That's true. Oh, yeah. He's kind of become part of the roster now. Team Dark is still a thing <laughs> just because people do really like seeing those three together. Yep. So, yeah. That was one thing I, like I liked about Forces. Yeah. You know, I always thought it would be kind of neat if they tried another adventure style game, um, but like in the first game, Sonic has the most stages and everyone else has like three, and you have say seven characters. You know, like Sonic, Tails, Knuckles, Amy, Shadow, Rouge, and Omega, and let's say in their own stories they each have like a chance to get one of the emeralds, and then it all comes together at the end. I don't know, just... Somehow, right, that would be kind of neat. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we've exhausted our commentary on, no, the, on we this should, particular game. We should make a. a now we got a new game plus. Exo Paradigm Gamer Cinematic Universe mm -hmm. game where each of one of us has to get the the emeralds. It turns out that RZ is an a, an evil alien from the planet 480i. He wants to turn <laughs> the universe into calm teeth. So I need to oh, harness the power of the dither sword to stop him. Do we have to wait for the redesign in 2020? But then he reveals <laughs> that he has a 4x3 power because he prefers that over 8x7. <laughs> yeah, he likes to stretch out <laughs> yeah, games for no reason. Really, this game... This did a lot to change the look and feel of the Sonic series. Like, egg pawns are still a thing. Um, the Egg Fleet itself has been used in other media more than a few times. Um, like most think, of these characters are still around. Didn't they recycle a bunch of um, uh, Sega and Sonic All-Stars racing tracks based on this game in yeah. Team Sonic Racing this year? Well, not... This well, game makes me super hard! <laughs> <laughs> no, and not just this year, because they just took all those tracks from, from Sega All-Stars Racing. Well, that's what I'm saying. One. 
Yeah. Uh, that's what I said. You want to yeah. know something really lame? The third Riders game, Free Riders, was basically just this game's story over again, where Metal Sonic gets everybody's data, and then you have one crazy last race with him at the end, only he isn't nearly as expressive as he is in this game. He doesn't even talk. He just goes back to buzzing and beeping. Beep. Uh, it's kind of sad. Beep. Beep. Yeah. Beep. This game's kind of ahead of its time. Yes, it Big is. Big bad guy trying to steal your data. <laughs> <laughs> What other game were you thinking of, Eric? Life. <laughs> That's a deep. True. It's That's true. a deep true philosophical facts. statement. Those corporate cucks. It's gotta be philosophical. Anyway, I'm working, okay, so I'm working on my video Sonic essay right Heroes. now. Does anybody have any lo-fi that they can recommend to me? No. No. I'm lost. <laughs> okay, so Sonic Heroes. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> fun kind of game. It has big problems, big limitations. But, I don't know, for the one time they tried out this idea, until Forces, I suppose, it was okay. It's just one of those many concepts they never went back to revisit. And the Sonic Team, Sega, they have a nasty habit of doing that. It's trying out an idea one time, and instead of refining it in other games, they're like, okay, back to the drawing board. Yeah. Except when it comes to the boost formula, which has been streamlined to the point of you barely having to do anything. <laughs> yes. But if this is all we ever get of Sonic Heroes, and it's an okay game, it's a rote memory kind of game, where you just go back to and you just kind of repeat the same few actions over and over and over and over and over again until you reach the end, basically just going through a series of obstacle courses. And if that's all it takes to satisfy, then okay. I find myself going back to it every five or six years for like one playthrough as a one of the teams or just picking out a couple of stages I'm okay with but that's usually it. Anyway that's my thoughts on Sonic Heroes. It's a pretty mediocre game but I can't call it an outright bad one. It's just okay. What about you guys? I I, I think it's okay. I mean I, don't, I wouldn't go as far to say it's mediocre but I do think it's a pretty good game despite me joking about it all the time. Uh, controls are a little slippery, but they're not too bad. Stages go on a little too long, but again, it's not that bad. Um, but the level design itself is actually pretty good. That's something I didn't get a chance to say because we were too busy talking about Sonic's feet. But, uh... You brought that no. one. No. Yeah, well, not, not, in the, not in the Team Dark play oh, That was no. all no. Hadox. Oh, yeah, yeah. But no, I think yeah. it's, it's pretty good. It's just not one that I revisit. I'd rather play, like, Adventure 1 or 2 or Generations or Unleashed. You know, this really was the the end of an era in a way. Like, there's still a ton of uh, references to this era. We hear a lot of adventure era music in, like, Team Sonic Racing and so on. And that Lego Dimensions pack, everyone, like, loves referencing it. But this is the last time we'd hear these voice actors or anything, aside from Advanced the, 3, I suppose. Yeah, I was gonna say that. Yeah. Yeah. It was, like, the last time that Sonic would look like this before things got really dour and drab and shadow and then up wrist in Sonic 06 and on and on we go. Yeah. True facts. The light before the dark. No, uh, the, the 13 eternal. darknesses. Anyways. No! Wishes um, are eternal. Get it right. Well, that... that Listen, eat a bite. Like, I would say something about Sonic Heroes, but I feel like I've talked about my thoughts about it five times at this point so not really much needed. <laughs> all i'm gonna say is i'm working on my glover script right now and Woo! basically Ooh. my basically the the crux of that is it's a game i enjoy playing but the more you think about it the more and that's kind of what Sonic Heroes is, it's a game I enjoy playing in the moment, and like I can point to things that I enjoy about it, but like when you stop and think about it, it's like, you know, it is just kind of doing like the same pre, pre-baked pre ideas over and over. But I don't know, it, it is what it is, I enjoy playing it, but yeah, I mean I think I've had more than enough of this game to last a lifetime over this past year. So I probably won't be picking it up again anytime soon, but can't say I, I came out of it hating it in the end, so it is what it is. But yeah, I think the one thing we can all agree on, and the one thing that we can all say about this game is that Sonic was never good. Mm -hmm. Right. So <laughs> that's that's all for Sonic Heroes. We're done with that. Uh, finally, and it's time to move on to new pastures, including a new Zebros playthrough. Uh, new Zebros playthrough is coming out this week 
I'm aiming to Ooh, have to is support. it about Golden Sun? No. XO? No, it's about Paper Mario. Oh, that's lame. Uh-oh, everyone's starting to cut out. <laughs> Alright, we're done. Uh, we're done. Up. We're done. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Alright, who, who did the Ethan squeak? That was me. <laughs>